Hello, it's Mark from 2DogRC. Going to show you how to connect your receiver to your Diatone Tyrant. This is just a thin Nas 32 board, very similar to the Emacs Skyline is another one like this. But basically, you don't have pinner heads, you've got these little slots. Um, this slot right here will be for the speed controllers go into there. As you can see, it kind of lines up on the board just like this. So I've taken uh, the top off and a little spacers off so I can access this and show you guys pretty easy what to do. Then you're gonna get a wire in your kit. Looks like this. It's got the white head and then the, the serial leads on the side. Now these are for going into your receiver. There's a couple of different ways you can hook it up, but generally it's all the same. This goes in the little slot, See that? just like that. So if you look carefully here, let's move this out right now. So the top one is a negative or brown. The second one's red, which is positive, and then signal number one. And that all goes to one lead, those three. So this is how you power your receiver. This is sending five volts to your receiver. If you want to connect to a standard spectrum transmitter or receiver, excuse me, uh, this kind of dates me a little bit, an AR6000, haven't seen one of those for a while. This is called setting up PWM. This means one channel per wire. And if in clean flight, that's what you're gonna to wanna to select. It probably is there by default. But it's the same kind of wire. And what you do is you just start with the first wire goes in your throttle. And then the next pin wire out goes to the aileron. You just go in order. So you look on your wiring here. First pin is this one. It's got all three that goes in the first one. And then the throttle. And then pull up your second wire. Okay, your second wire goes in the next spot. Just go in order. It's not that hard and just go in order and there's no issues. Okay, the other way you can connect is PPM. Now this means it sends all the signals through one wire. If you do PPM, which would be for a D4R receiver, uh, FreeSky or others out there, I think Ropner does, or I'm not sure, exactly sure, but this is PPM wire. So you just need this one wire plug it into your receiver's PPM port and you're good to go. Then in, in clean flight, you're gonna select PPM as your receiver type, voila. Now, if you're gonna do S bus, which is what you're gonna run if you're running a X4 hour receiver, you're gonna plug in to the bottom three pins and if you look there, it says SB positive negative. So again, you're gonna to have to do a little rig in here. Okay. You need the positive and negative, but you don't need pin number one because that's not the right one to use. So what you need, and it says this in the instructions as well, Diatone did a good job on this. It's on page 10. You need channel four. So this, the first wire is channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. Come on, you little bugger. Channel four. Now what I would do, if you want to just plug this in, is use an X-Acto knife, pop up the little plastic on here, pull the signal wire out, then take channel four, pop it, the little plastic out with the X-Acto knife, pull the pin out, and put that one in this, and now you've got one wire. Uh, what I'm gonna do is gonna just solder, I solder directly to my board. So I'll pull all these other pins out because you don't need them and solder directly to my board. Now you might want to leave some in if you're going to use a OSD 